All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over keyword close variants in Google Ads, how they impact your campaign and some best practices. So it's gonna be a pretty short video, but I'm gonna start with this image right here. So let's just say these keywords at the top are my targeted keywords. So farmhouse shelving, farmhouse shelves, and farmhouse shelves, the modified broad match version. Now some examples of close variant keywords would be floating farmhouse shelf. So you can see shelf right here isn't actually targeted anywhere up here, but that's considered a close variant. And then a couple others, farmhouse shelf brackets. So the same exact thing, farmhouse shelf for kitchen, and then modern farmhouse shelving. So that would be, it is targeted up here, but this might've actually came in before I actually added this targeted keyword. So the way to use close variants is to understand that Google is gonna automatically match a lot of different keywords based on the keywords that you're already targeting. So if I'm targeting farmhouse shelves here, I actually don't need to be targeting a lot of these other keywords because they're already gonna be matched in my ad group with close variants. So we're gonna come over here to Google real quick to go over the definition. So let's say close variants allow keywords to match to searches that are similar but not identical. So close variants in all match types, so it works for exact, phrase, and broad match modifier keywords, be misspellings, singular or plural forms, stemmings, abbreviations, accents, couple different examples here. So rendered words with the same meaning. So if you're targeting men's shoes, it'll still match when someone types in shoes men's. If you're targeting something like men's shoes again, it'll also match for someone who types in shoes for men because they all have the same meaning. So if it's reordered, if it's misspelled, if it's a singular, if it's a plural form, you can still use close variants. So you're automatically opted into close variants. So the next thing I'm gonna do is show you when you're setting up an ad group, how to use some best practices for close variants. So using the example from earlier with farmhouse shelves, let's just say for example, I have a new ad group I wanna create, farmhouse shelf brackets. What you would do is just come in here and let's just say we just wanna target the modified broad match keyword version. So we'll do farmhouse shelf brackets and we'll set our default bid at $1. So then what you would do is when you have your other ad group here, so let's just pretend like we're creating another ad group for farmhouse shelves. Okay, so let's say we're setting up a new ad group here so you can see standard ad group. So we're just targeting keywords. We wanna use farmhouse shelf brackets for our new ad group, default bid $1, farmhouse shelf bracket. So we're just targeting the broad match modifier version of that keyword. And then for an example, another ad group that we would add here is really just the broad version. So farmhouse shelves, if you just entered farmhouse shelf, farmhouse shelves like this, it would match every single type of keyword that you can really think of. So even if someone is typing in farmhouse shelving, it'll still match for these keywords because Google sees that as a very similar keyword. So when someone types in farmhouse shelves versus farmhouse shelving, Google is just looking at the intent of the searcher. So what you would wanna do is maybe bid a little bit lower on this individual ad group with farmhouse shelves. And let's just say you're sending traffic to a page that looks like this. So a broad page, farmhouse shelves and rustic shelves. As so you scroll down, you can see there's just a bunch of different shelves for sale that people can put in a farm style home. Now, when we come over back to the ad group, you can see we have farmhouse shelf brackets. So for this one, what we would do is send people to a landing page that features farmhouse shelf brackets here. And the advertisements would also match farmhouse shelf brackets as well. So what you can do over the course of time is improve your campaigns by making sure that you're sending people to the best possible landing page for the keyword that they typed in. Someone who is actively searching for farmhouse shelf brackets might have already purchased their farmhouse shelves. So I don't wanna send them to this landing page here. Maybe they already purchased their farmhouse shelf. So the next thing they need are brackets to actually put these shelves up. So I wanna send them to a page just like this. So they would come into this page, find the shelf brackets that they like, purchase them. So that's a great way to use close variants and understand how they work. And also as we come back over here, just understanding some examples of close variants and you don't need to target every single keyword possible based on the way people would type it in. So if we come back over real quick, I don't need to type in something like, let's just say fam house. So let's just say someone forgets the R or so let's just say you're doing farm and someone forgets the H. You don't need to type in all these misspellings. You don't need to type in something like farmhouse shelf. So let's just say someone types it in like that. You don't need to do all of that. Google is going to automatically match those for you with close variants. So we're going to come back over here. One final example. So as you're adding keywords to a search campaign, you're gonna see we have our farmhouse goals search campaign. Any of these three keywords that we're targeting right here, so we have the phrase match version right here, the exact match version right here, and the modified broad match version right here, all three of those keywords. So if we're just targeting this one, if we're just targeting this one, if we're just targeting this one, we'll match the following search queries. So farmhouse shelves, 
farmhouse shelf and then fam house. So if people have misspellings, if there's plurals, if there's different things like that, your ads will still match. So you don't need to focus on creating separate ad groups for misspellings. You don't need to add those keywords into any of your campaigns. They're already going to be covered with keyword variations or keyword close variants through Google Ads. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.